Hello and welcome everyone to another Let's Play with the Developers. My name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of Mind Colonies. And he, we are here on our neat little Patreon server for today's stream again. Uh, let's give a hi. The Endermen are disabled in the next update. So that's a good news, I guess. Um, and I, I logged in already and the stream I have everything set up correctly I guess okay so today there was a, a shorter warm-up period I guess I'm going to wait for people to log in but I did get the announcement out didn't I yes I did okay so S S Sam Letters is not online yet himself either. We have to wait for that and we can already check up on our crafters. Do, do, do. I'm going to do my best work. So she got you. that requested. And let's check over here as well, our other one. Twitch was being slow. That would explain it. Now we got those here under delivery already. So we got some we got some progress here definitely going on. Let's check on our other builder, Connor, as well, what he's doing. And hi, Erevan, how are you doing? Twitch was being very slow. Eh. So, I work, noticed it a work. few times already in the past, the Twitch having some weird issues like that. Um, it should have enough beds in the warehouse. I made a bunch of them. But more flower pots and lime carpet, I guess, we do need. Hi Katja, how are you doing? Mm, let's see. Do we have any lime carpet? Only three. And one wool, but we have 24 lime dye. So that's definitely something to look forward. Hi Greg. Um, just... Yeah, the next update is already going to be the update that has all the the finder for the things in the warehouse and Wissy is going to update after the stream oh great great news done do, do, do. Yeah, I had uh, one of the devs was testing some of the crafters and he used these the space war set because that's what we're using to find out what that weird pacing back and forth is um, and meanwhile he found out that the dyer was missing um, here lime dye white wool we need more than that in terms of white wool huh. gotta find that white wool now Do 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 more white wool. We're still looking for white wool at the moment. I thought I'd find this together no so upstairs I definitely came over some wool already gotta find <sighs> it again I'm really going to be clad when the update for this is in um, white wool there we go so 36 maybe go a little bit more yes that sounds more like it. Uh, putting those in the middle here around, and then we can dump those in here. Um, how many red beds? That we should. Yeah, we got a bunch of red beds left. What was the other resource? Hi John. Ah, it's, it didn't say hi John. Sorry. I'm a bit more confused than usually today. Um, it was the bed, it was the lime wool. Ah, plant pots. 
Um, so, bricks. We only got 10 bricks. So. So, hi Chanelis Place, how are you doing? So... Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Yes. Yeah, that's usually the best approach. I, I usually go with that in Spearin. That way I don't have to do things myself. So, let's request some bricks here. Here. 64 of it. That should go through the crafter. And get some more compost as well. Maybe do we have some in the warehouse? None yet. Okay. And the warehouse got some raw beef. So, we got it. we're getting up here. We're getting here. Hi, Ross. How are you doing? Um, I'm still waiting for Sam. Where is Sam? I'm going to ask him. He's not He's not here yet. So, probably up to some mischief. That's the stash, isn't it? That stuff box is the stash. Okay. That's exactly how that works. So the red bed is the livery, the lime carpet now too, only the... Ah, you meant you were just getting it from me. I think I have, I think we have one actually. But since I usually have to go anywhere there to craft it, like to the warehouse to get the resources. No, we don't have one at the moment. I double checked around here. Mm, those are being delivered. Fortune is on the composter. That must mean that she got the stairs. Yes, she did get the red sandstone stairs finally. Great. Um, the dumb. And let's check out Connor. No, what is on the new Avery? Sorry, Avery. Want to know how builders party? Okay, You're those are the uh, crafter again. Yeah, it's definitely a convenient way for that. I agree on that. I fully agree on that. Mm, the doom. They're still having some weird issues sometimes, where it seems like the man picks up weekends again. The stuff. Yes, my lord. And she's yes? still on one of these huge tasks, or again on one of these huge tasks. I'd rather say. So if I give her one I stack, with that. I can take mm -hmm. the other one. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'm just going to make a lot of cobble. I'm going to do my best work for you. Ch -ch -ch. I love the smell of fresh timber. There. So now she should definitely have enough cobble. I can what are you up to that. now? Eating? Really? Ah, yeah. You got a minor lumber restaurant, guard tower, where is demon, houses, tavern, university is the next step. Mm, yes, sure, the realm. Uh, no problem, shoot it out. What's the problem? Uh, they are getting stuck here. I think we can take them down. I love living here. Can I shoot them as well? No. Just the flowers. So...
Oops, fail. Do, do, do. Oh, those grow back quickly, don't they? So... Um, roads are good. Placing roads is a good idea. Because roads allow your citizens to path to places more quickly. And it's generally very good for performance as well. But it also... And um, the tile, the tile bed occupied is not our ba bug. That must be some other mod doing. That's not mine colonies. Um, and about the wall for the fortress, that is on purpose. Um, it is that if the oh, that's weird. Because we don't change anything with beds. Oh, northwest. We don't change anything with with uh, with uh, with those things. So that's kind of very strange. Then um, about the fortress wall is when um, a decoration has like one, two, three, four, five in it. Uh, if it has one, two, three, four, five in it. That means... Where are they? Um, that means that it is going to have a leveling scheme. And that you should wait for that. So... In this case, they have a decoration controller in them. We are northwest, aren't we? Northwest. Here's northwest. So you should just... I think they are down here, if you ask me. Hi. Hi. I'm searching for barbarians. We're having a raid, apparently. And... Yes, hi, hi everyone to Sam Letters. So it's our colony? Yes. To Death Colony. Northwest, it said. I'm going to go a little bit more east. Imagine one of our Patreons renames the colony to the colony <laughs> as well, just to confuse us. <laughs> just to mess with our heads? Oh yeah, that, that wouldn't be fun. Yes, it will only build wall one. And then you go into the decoration controller that is placed together. And then you click upgrade. Oh, they are west. You're going east. Yeah, yeah, I, I was very west and couldn't find them. They're directly west. Ah, they were directly west, not northwest. Yeesh. Yeah. I'm running. No. I have to use my vastly overpowered bow to kill them. <laughs> I think one thing, we don't need mods adding our custom bows with that deal more damage than vanilla bows. Vanilla bows are already um, strong. No! Die, all of you! That one stung a little. Stop it! Wait, no! Oh. Oh. I'll be back! Oh no, our researcher died. How could you do that, you monsters? I don't believe it. And the stone, but now? Are they in one of our citizen huts? Yes, mm -hmm. they are. Oh lord. Rampaging inside one of our citizen nuts. 
Okay, now the guards are at least here. And the other researcher died. Oh, so did I tell you to first you must be some? So where no. is the? No, they? they were here. I think one of the high odd, one of the problems of the space war style, is that entering is easy. It's called stash in Spiron. Yeah, John. John was using um, stuff box, but the. Real name is Stash. For it. I, I like stuff box better. <laughs> you like stuff box better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, he was putting there in J. Stuff box. Why isn't show anything showing up? Oh, imagine that you make like a mod with only names like this. Stuff box, <laughs> CDI item. <laughs> <laughs> uh, item that kills stuff. The source item. Item for holding more items. Yeah. So, we got get some raw beef here I can steal. Yeah, I think a sandstone wall on the top. Or may I don't know. Maybe a, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a sandstone mm -hmm. wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Potentially a sandstone wall might be a good idea. Making it, I think in generally. Yeah, we exactly. That's not was not a critique of the this uh, design itself it's things we only find out when actually playing with them mm, let me dump some of these things in the warehouse mad man here choo, choo, choo. now iron leggings okay um dark oak door It, it, those don't really matter because the demon actually has another door to their home. I don't know how it is down. Let me let me give a double check to the citizen hut. I think the problem is that here there are no doors. You see, John? Like there, like some beds are inside here. There is a torch missing inside here. Some beds are behind the door. And those people are relatively safe. Those here. That's that explains why only two people died. But some are open here. So if there was a door in front of their room, that would be already enough. Then we don't even need uh, anything. Because the barbarians only try to get until here, and then they see that there are people to be targeted around here, right? Uh, but behind the doors they can't scan and they won't try to break the doors then. I don't think that there are doors at those places. You can double check here, there are no doors either in front of exactly those rooms. This here is potentially missing one. Yes, I think it's, I think it's pretty great. But we do need either a door or like, you know, I don't know, how would I do it, say it, like this here is great and they can't enter he here. Okay, they break the main door but they don't go to the bedrooms, but they will go to the bedroom in the case they see the citizen next to the hot block. So we might need just a bit more doors down there. I don't think even we need walls then. I think just having a door in front of the rooms 
It's probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need to make way of smarter again. <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't like it if they clean out citizen huts. I think they shouldn't do that. They should be able to kill it. Else you can just put doors everywhere and uh, yeah, wait for three days or so. It's like because they the raiders path randomly there is a chance to discover but if like the bedroom of the citizens is next to the hut block directly they're going to clean out a citizen hut in a min in 20 seconds that is way too fast when i can give them a chance to walk to the of a hut block that would work but um, that is definitely too quick. We need, as far as I know, there is some code, but probably that there is like additional problems that the citizens are not running away when barbarians are attacking them in their beds, right? Mm, I think they should. No, that's where they're going to run. They run, run maybe two, three blocks, and then the sleeping AI tells them go to sleep again. So, until we have something to decently have citizens run to a safer place or something like this. Which brings me to a building idea, like uh, a bunker or something like this. Where citizens could flee when under attack. Because I don't have problems the guards dying in combat or citizens that were simply too slow to get home before the barbarians arrived. That's that's the idea of it. But citizens getting murdered in their beds, I think that is not the idea of it. At least until we have... Because they break the doors super quickly of the citizen huts nowadays. So, do, do, do. could be the basement of the town hall as well, yes. Mm -hmm. Let me get those sheep again. Do, do, do. So who did we lose, by the way, again? Researcher, stonemason, I ah, stonemason, that's a pain. We're using our stone mason for a hundred different things. Okay. Everyone would be safe in a rancor pit, <laughs> including the barbarians. Very safe. Um, so now stone mason. That is something we have to replace urgently. Oh. Here we have someone, Eva, our new stonemason. You think I'm not strong enough? I do think Watch you're really you. strong for to be a, a stonemason, Eva. Else I wouldn't have picked you. Do, do, do. Let's check out the. So, fortune is making progress. I see. And we gotta go to sleep, and then. We're going to lose an entire day to morning. Meh, meh, meh. And yes, to to the people who are requesting it, yes, morning is going to be adjusted in the future to only people who are family members or live with the diseased mourn. Um, the dumb. And then we do hope to get 
new researchers as well. Let's see if we can hire some. I still didn't set up the new system for the university what where researcher you? levels actually have a good thing. I do still have to do that. It's planned for this weekend. I could do? So, I can help, I guess. diamonds. Okay, I'm going to get some of that nether block thingy. Did I always forget the name? Quartz? That was the name. Oh no! Where did all of my quartz go? Did it go in the warehouse? Bet it did. Running! Before this, the visitors that want quartz disappear again. Run, 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 run. Quartz. Where is quartz? Not here. Not here. By the way, I just checked our running away AI and it seems that they don't run away from barbarians. They don't run away from barbarians? That's bad. Because, or at least not as well as from other entities, because they are set to run away from monster entities or barbarians aren't monsters but just mobs. Do, 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 do. That explains a lot. Which I think my, may even be a parking issue. A what? Because I know those mob entity classes have been renamed after one twelve. Do, do, do. That would explain things as well because they walk right beside a mob and don't care until the mob hits them actually. Yeah. Where is this quartz? Tell me. Now I got a nice lag. Been having some really bad Um, quartz, now we are back. I don't want to get new kids, because they take a while to grow up. I can't find the quartz. There it is. Run, Ray, run! Get those citizens. So... Dim, dim, dim. Run, forest, run! How's was it you? Going? No. Was it you? Guess. No. Chuk -a -chuk -a -chuk -chuk -a -chuk. Where are they? Nasties. Not you? Was it what you? Is it? Okay, we got one. Where's the other one? Was it you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, it was. <gasps> but. It's done already, okay. Hi Tinty Tots, how are you doing? But at least that one we can get for the uh, university then. Yeah, because it's very important to have a researcher there doing their job. Here. Quickly then. Catcha. Um, because we got here the farming boost and the block break speed. We only have what happened? Did you hire the citizen to someone other position? I met her for a major, yes. Why? Can you fire please? We need a researcher. But now we can hire another one. Huh. Let's see if that works. Should this be something? Yeah. Okay, let me run there and see if I get this working. What we need? We need a honeycomb worker. Was it you? Oh, yes, one for the so. Where? It's the stairs upstairs inside the tavern. Here, oh, there, got her, Lena. So you go 
Okay, nice that Avery, at least someone, wants to work. Looking at all the other citizens. Not wanting to be <coughs> insensible. Ranger again, right? No. Researcher. There. <laughs> Lina, yes, our new researcher. Oh wow, she got some decent skills. Especially in knowledge and mana. Nice. That's nice. Just think for a research. Mm. So, hi, hi, Puppet Master Z. Welcome to the stream. And hi, Chef, as well. How are you doing? So, everyone is mourning. We just lost a few citizens. Because they spawned a little bit too far west and north. I guess everything north from our town hall is considered north. I guess that explains it. But I'm thinking actually about closing the wall. Here. It's also kind of like one block apart when it's calculated. There is no, no, like, threshold to cross before it's considered lost. Yeah, yeah. It's like, northwest is one block north and one block west. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a decent hole, I, a decent filling I made there, I guess. <laughs> Not lazy at all. No! Me, lazy filling walls? Nah. Huh. And I want to go to the nether to get more nether quartz because we're out. Choo -choo -choo. That's bad, we need more nether quartz. Yeah, I'm going to get some nether quartz. <sighs> what do you think about making radars uh, steel torches? Steel torches? Uh, I don't know. So, what do you want to dump here? I think it, that's. I'm not. That that would make normal vanilla mobs a bit more dangerous. Yeah, but raiders are nasty enough already for most people. There's a danger after that is, is vanilla mobs, not raiders. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. I see, I see, it's different. So, <clears throat> do, do, do. I can already request more beef. And do I have some food? I do have enough food. Uh, let's go to the nether a little bit. Yes, everyone, get the ready. For me to I get lost. And in the nether. Everyone wait for me to get lost in the nether. Going to be oh. guaranteed. That is very certain. Okay, <laughs> I thought you were going to die again there. I've barely barely died in the nether on this server here. And I haven't died anymore since I got the halfway decent bow on the other one either. Oh, really? No. Just need a decent bow and halfway decent armor and then I don't die, but I didn't have either. And then I died a lot. Besides, I didn't know what I was getting. Oh. Do you know how much experience I had? Yes, I think you could be any words. <laughs> I had too much experience for this to be funny. Well, you were begging, begging how you don't die. That's all. <laughs> I don't die of a natural nether causes. That I don't. Ah, that's what we meant. Oops. Meh. 
I had like 30 levels or so. Or did or did I go get them back now? I don't remember how the rules are with corrals. I think we have to go far enough to get lost in the nether. I don't th think there's any nether quartz around here. Choo -choo -choo. I don't use any levels when dying. So that's on the other server. It's quite a pain. Vanilla losing levels. Although I do think it's more balanced. Never losing levels makes it very easy to acquire them. When you are losing levels, enchanting is kind of... Yeah, and enchanting like enchanting is relatively powerful. Yeah, just want to go through it. Nether iron ore? No. I just want to get some nether quartz. There's so many net ores in this that it's even difficult to find nether quartz. Here, nether quartz. I don't like mining dimensions. I know people like them. I don't like them. Chuk chuk. Yeah, I don't like them. And I think unless you got like some two years old server with hundreds of people on, there is enough resources. Yeah, they're like. Like I get it when like in a public server, I think it's very important. I remember on our uh, public servers, the entire area being like completely empty, scattered. But on that server, we have so much resources everywhere. Yeah, I don't think it's needed. Um, you only mine know. underground anymore. I mean, I get it when it's for sand or so. You don't want to ruin the landscape. I kind of get it, but like mining that is underground or nether stuff. Yeah. Nether stuff is actually worse. I want people to go to the nether to get nether resources. There shouldn't be a nether mining dimension at all. Else it's like it takes away a huge gameplay element where you're supposed to go to a dangerous zone to obtain more yeah. difficult obtainable items. And you can like always also like delete some chunks to regenerate. Yes, and something we've used to do always for the nether was just regaining it. We did that always. Was never a problem. Du -du -du. There we go. So, more quartz. More quartz. Ow! I do not like those fire flowers. I always think, oh, they're so. Meh, they burn. They look nice, but. They look they nice. But they are not. Oh, I'm winning of these we very weird um, biomes or plenty biomes. That flash biome. That's really nasty. Um, yeah, it is. But it fits in the zombie, I think. It does fit. Yeah, in the nether, sometimes things kind of get a little bit rare. But that's why we said when things start getting rare, we just reset it. That's not a problem at all. But I mean, we don't have enough veterans to kind of have nether go empty. Yeah. And even if it's uh, getting a bit lower, you can always trade with our other veterans for interaction. Yeah. Especially in the future when we want to add more trading. Yeah, it's going it to be nice. Keep it. Uh, I think on on the one twelve server we reset we resetted the nether and end at least once. 
I remember us doing that. The last server was not older than our Patreon server. I think it was yeah. live for two years or so. Yeah, that was because the 112 server was live for a long time. Oh, there's more. I do really dislike those biomes of plenty plants in the nether too. Yeah, they're nasty. And they are like everywhere, that's the problem. There are yeah, too many of them. It's these uh, Bramblewood biome or so, where they all spawn. So, it's too much I of like, it. I like the biome with blue fire, that always looks cool. But the blue fire biome, isn't that only 116? No, no, that's biome so plenty. Oh, I did, so... <laughs> what do you think were its ideas? <laughs> so Mojang stole that. The anything they did not. Mm -hmm. What is Moonstone? Is that good? No idea. What does it say? Okay. Tier 3, Rarity 45. Doesn't seem so bad. Um, usually we usually take a very nice approach to servers and we leave them online until people don't play anymore. That's usually our rule. So when we see like after this 116 server is online, after a week, after a month, what happened? Another death, another day of mourning, come on. <laughs> um, if after a, like after a month no one is playing anymore, then we're going to ask people if they're like Okay with shutting it down. Ah! Okay, oh, that almost me. killed me. Um, else, if after a month, or three months, or five months, still a lot of people are playing on it, we're going to keep it there. No need to shut it down. We have enough resources to ha keep two servers running. There's also a reason why we've decided on only having Patreon servers at the moment because that allows us to do these kinds of things then. So... Come yeah, quartz, come to daddy. Here. Um, there's more here. Here. Do we have sunflowers? I don't think that we still... I don't think that we have sunflowers. Or at least not enough. We got one visitor which wants 123 baked potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> My baked potatoes. Those citizens. Um, but, but it's, it's an easy... Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah? It's an Isaiah. Oh, Isaiah, then might, it might be worth it. Isaiahs are good builders. Uh, um, so, I once the on the topic, 116.2, mine colonies is finished, I would say now. Finished and it seems relatively stable. Anyone who wants to help um, test it, please PM me because we need more testers for the 116.2 version uh, before we officially release it. It would be got good to get it a little bit more tested to be sure. Hi Angel, how are you doing? Yes, just PM me on Discord. Uh, Discord here. Um, and I can send you a test version of it. Um, it would be good to get it uh, tested a bit more than what we currently have such we can then safely release it We had a few people testing it already and it seemed fairly stable There was another thing vanilla changed that you now need the entity position When you get the loot of something 
Then I'll take this in a, into account as well. I don't know why. But they have this now. So I had to add that at a bunch of places. Oops, lava, lava, lava. Uh, I'm Rake. Oh, sorry. I'm Raycoms. Hi, Angel. I'm Raycoms on Discord. Uh, did, um... I need to get some of that crimson iron ore as well. I heard it's good. So... Yeah, sometimes forget that people don't know who's streaming. I'm Raycoms and the other one is Sam Letters and um, Sam some add-ons on on Discord. Choo -choo -choo. So getting more of this. I did see apparently you can configure waste ah fail. I threw bunch of quartz down. Never mind. I didn't throw your bow into lava. Oh wow, that would be a pain. It's a good bow. Although it would make raids more interesting. Um, yes, that is an Optifine bug. You have to report that to Optifine so that they actually fix it. Um... Optifine is having a bunch of problems with us in 116. I don't know how they messed that up. Ooh, I don't fly down there. Yeah, we got a bug report open for that. Potentially just giving it another, another like. Yeah, just add another com uh, comment there. Usually, I guess, when more people comment on back reports, it tells them it's something more urgent. Yeah, but it... need to get it on to like 300 comments or so and say fix <laughs> Yeah. Um, similar to vanilla, basically. Um, talking about that, I did make a few back reports to vanilla about performance I wonder if I'm going to get an answer to those one last way I had the I had day I, I read some uh, village issues from 114 which are still seen in 116 but what are the, the issues there uh, sometimes a village kind of becomes too large and starts lagging the server because of it or so. Like the whole server became one village or so for some reason. Yeah, but I think that's maybe something that is like difficult to reproduce, I could imagine. But like <laughs> our issue is like, the issue that I reported are like obvious, very obvious issues. Very, very obvious issues. Um, I had some nonsensical Actually, player. A player commented under it. It like um, not an issue. Um, this, you're playing on modded, and because I yeah. posted um, the mine colonies solutions to those problems, I posted our pathfinder there. Yeah. I was like, no. I posted the solution to this problem through modded. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 that's not right. Ah, it's vanilla, they changed that. Ah, I didn't know that. We have to look into that then. If you want, you can also always, um, make a pull request. Mine Colonies is open source. So changing the bad text for example should be pretty easy to do. So hmm? 
I want you men on easy, okay. Yeah, you just have to put it into 116, uh, into the English language, the ENUS file, and the rest is then going to be propagated automatically. Oh, nether diamond ore. Du -du -du. Oh, 15 diamonds, nice. You're getting low on diamonds. Dum -de -dum. Dum -de -dum. Meh. I don't want to fall down there. Oh, there is the stuff. Here. So there was some down here as well, wasn't there? Ah, here. Do, do, do. More of this. I think after this trip we're going to have enough. <laughs> eh? Ouch. So. So, here we go. Um, but I was seeing we're getting already some pretty decent downloads on 116 as well. Uh, I think I saw Structurize got around 15,000 downloads already. It means we have at least 15,000 unique Mine Colonies downloads. Right. So that's pretty neat. Uh, on 116 that is, right? It's a little bit, it seemed a little bit more than we are having on 115 lately. Oh yes, we ha we are having that planned nether colonies. I have on my list another compatibility we have to add is that the uh, builder, similarly how he can get grass automatically, also is going to get those nether blocks, those overgrown nether rack automatically as well oh. placing them automatically I mean Doo -doo -doo. I think that's the last piece I'm going to get here so after that we should have enough too much already here There we go. Automatically, exactly. Um, the builder is then going to get those as well. And that should allow building in the nether nicely. Because without it, it's probably going to be a little bit ugly without being able to use those nice surfaces. So, my pickaxe just broke. Um, I guess we get home. So where is my not OP at all waystone teleporter? Um, death colony, there we go. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh yes. Um... I think we've decided that we're going to build the the next um, death colony in the nether then. Sure. I think that is going to be more interesting. So... And not we build one underwater. Oh no, that would be too too grindy. Building underwater is too grindy. Yeah, I think, like, in general mining dimension, I don't have a problem at all. I just don't like nether mining dimensions.
Um, but yeah, I definitely want to build it in the nether. And we're going to probably run into a bunch of problems. We're going to solve them by code until the next <laughs> episode. And that a lot of problems, yeah. Yeah, probably. Colonies aren't really made for the nether. Mm, that makes me think about it. I wanted to tell this one dev here. Um, and what you also have to keep in mind is that you can't skip night, so we got like 50% not working settlements. Yeah, we have to look into that. But that is usually, I don't think it's a problem. It means we have time to search resources and build infrastructure, etc. Oh. And we can't sleep. Yes, we can't definitely sleep. So, I developed most of the things. Um, I did ask the dev I assigned the lumberjack task to. Oh, this looks fantastic. What's okay, next? that one you got all set up. Wait, you still got the we task we don't again. need, right? Oh. Yeah, you don't need more red sandstone. You got all of it. Just cut sandstone you need. And a barrel. Let's check on Avery. I guess he's getting Ow. deliveries. Yes, he is. And our builder here. You need green wool and mossy cobblestone. Mm-hmm. And you? You're sick. Okay. Green wool and mossy cobblestone. Did I put the vines in here or in the warehouse? Oh, that's mossy cobblestone, isn't it? Four. Great. Um, then I'm going to get some green wool. Wait, I'm going to t just take all of these mossy cobblestones and put them in the warehouse. But what is actually working on? I think that's the next level builder hut, isn't it? Yes, it's a builder level 4. So, green wool. I go to the warehouse and get it. And I produce it, I mean. Now, citizens in the nether also have to sleep. Although it could add... It could allow us adding some... Some night men content. Do what men gotta do. Yeah. Sure. I mean, at least we got uh, sleeping research now, so we like, got to sleep less. Yes. There's still sleeping less research for that. No guards can't use dridens at the moment. That that doesn't work. I need at least some white wool. Would be weird as well, like you've got the guard throwing it and then he has to go and get it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we added tridents then we would probably more like a resurge. Such that they don't have to get it back either. But it requires a resurge for it to work. So does this work? No it doesn't. So, um, yeah, that, but that would be way too much work to create extra citizens or whatever for the nether. That would be then fairly complex thing to handle. How's the work going? Delivery of dirt, delivery of iron ingot to the crafter, okay. Still waiting for that then. And you should be happy, yes, no more message. Yeah, I heard the gas as well. We still have it somewhere around. But at least most places are fixed now. Yay, we got the Zaya! Ouch. <laughs> Birch stairs? Didn't I teach birch stairs? 
What are you working on? Add citizen level th 5 as well. Citizen level 5 needed bird stairs and more flower pots. Meh. I'm going to teach the bird stair recipe. And I should have gotten my... My flower pot, my clay. My bricks, I mean. Oops. So, I'm going to make a bunch of them. And then we check on our crafter up there and see if I forgot the birch stairs recipe. I'm still waiting for the first recipe improvement to happen. Or is I think the message for this is still missing on this version. Birch stairs. Let me see. No, no improvement yet. You got the message on the server, so we are still waiting for it to happen. Yes, that message. Soup. And just to get some more of that wool. You got it for three crafters so far. Lucky you, we haven't gotten any of these messages yet. Let me see if maybe these... No, no, let me sleep first. Dumb. I'm going to check if it is blacksmith or stonemason or something like that got it already. So Yeah, the plantation will grow uh, cocoa beans in the future as well. Choo -choo -choo. Oh, the crusher building is basically ready. Nice. So, list of recipes. All of those are fully complete yet. No improvements yet here. Ava, I'm going to I hired you for, for you. a reason. Yes. That is to make better recipes. Come on, don't disappoint me. Choo -choo -choo. I need to eat. Let me check if the blacksmith got one, maybe. I think we'd be massively disappointed. None of our crafters discovered any yet. Oops. Here. There we go. Although I, I'm kind of disappointed, but also kind of relieved. Because that means that the balancing should be fairly in place. Hmm. Um, I was a little bit concerned that it might be a bit too overpowered but it seems to be fairly balanced then chip 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 um, at least I think it's a very big motivation to get the the crafter early on because yeah, if, you, if you know about it yeah, if you know about it. Because it's not really like right away. visible to play, I think. Yeah. We need more of that uh, documentation to the info button in the... Oh. Are we still mourning yes, here? Sir. Really? No, okay. Are we a gas? Sorry, I forgot the lumberjack died again. <laughs> Let me go there to the lumberjack area. I'm going to put some l more lights down. Oops. What is the wrong button? What makes the light level overlay? Not sure. Isn't that an Ah, I found it. F7. 
No. So I use the other tool that adds even infinite light source, which is even more over overpowered than torches. Initially I thought that those are going to disappear after some time, like temporary torches. I think that would be balanced, but add as it is infinitely, that's like maybe even yeah, more overpowered than my bow. Temporary torches and like more expensive real lights would be nice. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Like you can have permanent lights, but those are more expensive. Yeah. Could make lanterns more useful. Yeah. Lanterns and glowstone, right? Yeah. That and would actually be something lanterns. smart of Mojang to do for once. Would make the nether much more rewarding. Yeah. Uh, although with the new nether ride, there's finally a reason to go to the nether in the first place. Yeah. For that, maybe for the wither. Yeah. But it was also not so required, in my opinion. Yeah, you said that. So. Is, it, is that mod on 116 and 115? I, I remember one from 112. Is there other colonies? Yeah, those would be difficult as hell. But it's a little bit like skyblock colonies, isn't it, as well? Other colonies. Yeah. Just, li just looking a bit more floaty. So. Popping down those. Protecting our lumberjack. Choo -choo -choo. Oops. So, now the other direction as well. Let's see if we have everything covered here. There were a lot of dark spots under the tree stills. That's I guess where a bunch of skeletons spawned. Yeah, maybe. Hey, here there's still some dark spots. I guess should be fine now. Do -do -do. I think now our lumber check should be fine-ish. But Samantha's also said there is the they're currently having an issue with running away from mobs. So that might be fixed in the next version then. Mm, vanilla mobs would work. Ch -ch -ch. It's just our radar mobs which don't work. I did see them a few uh, many times already. Running straight to vanilla mobs too, though. Yeah, they start running away once I get it. Yeah, they, but they should run. They should avoid them earlier, as we used to have yeah, as well. They aren't that smart. They should be as smart. They shouldn't run towards a vanilla mm. mob. Yeah, they, a bit more on the slower side of life. You know? <laughs> Like, oh, do, do, do. what a nice day, I'm going here, I'm going there, oh no, a zombie hit me here. No, yeah, but I, should, I, I think they should... Why did we remove that? We had we that. No, we had uh, We had an avoid, we had an avoid task. I think we reused the villager a avoid task. But I also didn't want our citizens to scan in the area for mobs all the time. Mm. 
since it's kind of performance heavy. So... But we could so do it at least rarely. I guess. Where it's a, at the moment they get hit and upwards uh, keep scanning the area for mobs and run away smart that way. So they can kite zombies pretty long. So um yes and no the the realm it's because yes our citizens our builders can use bioma plenty woods etc but no we can't easily automatically generate style generate styles to use them it's kind of yeah. a problem because I had uh, some discussions with people on Forgecraft as well. They said, yeah, but it should be easily possible. I said, the problem is we have a building, like let's say the oak, the medieval oak style. And the medieval oh. oak style has often four, three different wood types into it, right? Even the wooden style has often like spruce on the top and oak on the bottom, etc. So how are we going to know which one is which, right? Which one is meant for decorational pro, uh, and which one is meant for actual use? There are some things where we put logs of different wood types in a lumberjack to add it as a certain complexity. That is on purpose. How are we going to not avoid just players making dirt houses again, right? Yeah. Or just using one wood type for the entire style, one to five. Yeah, and, and visually they are designed to be that way with that special piece of wood. Uh, and then there is that, that, right? Want it to look this way, and you are just slipping anyway. It doesn't look anymore then. And then, it's like, and then even like the maximum what would be possible would be an editor. Where the user can, when placing the building, decide which main wood type and uh, the player wants. But then we would also need all our builders to tag all the blocks that are decorational. Yeah. So that is just it at is the just moment not, not worth feasible. it. That's just, just not feasible. yeah, it's not really worth it. It's it's much easier to just if you want that, make it. You can yeah, easily it. paste all the, the entire st uh, medieval something style and then replace the wood types, and then use that. Yeah, exactly, it's hard enough to tag all kinds of other things already. So we offer full support. If you want to do that, I also told that the person on Forgecraft. You can simply use any biome, so plenty wood, and adjust in an existing style and put it on the server. And potentially, when we have the schematic server one day, um, that a lot of players are probably going to do these kinds of things. And that problem is going to solve itself without any work on our side. So that's preferably. Everyone was already shocked, like, don't let me, don't make me do that, don't make me do that. <laughs> do, do, do. John, there are missing lights in that building here. Let's check out the other one. Uh, the other one is still in under construction. Okay. But I guess for the... Uh Combat archery, you can argue it's outside. <laughs> what is inside? What is outside? Yeah. Pretty sure it, it's kinda supposed to be outside. Mm -hmm. 
But it's it's the area where the workers hang around and they can't defend themselves. That's why I would say it's inside. Yeah, cool. Doesn't yellow mean it spawns during night? And red, it means it can spawn during the day as well. I thought that's what they mean. Because I get red only in caves and areas that don't have direct sunlight. Yeah. Ah, he was removing my glowy dots. Let's see how our builder is doing. Now they should finally be working again. Oh wow, that area here is dark as well. Ah, the torches fell. Ah, he didn't place the torches yet. That makes sense. Temporarily place something here. So, ah, he's finally in the last stage. Oh, nice. Our level 4 builder is almost finished. So. <laughs> you are going neo gothic style 80 per 90 per well, there's a lot of decorational blocks in that yes don't overdo it and don't make it too large yeah please the university mm -hmm. doesn't have to be so large it, it's not a football field, football field. no but it, I, I don't have a problem if you in like if the level one university is very cheap and integrates the library and school into it, I think it's fine. But if it's huge and doesn't integrate the other building, I think it's too big. I might ask Luna actually to integrate the, li the wooden library and the wooden school into the university. Yay! Finish level 4 builder! Uh, you've created an add-on for the other mods and that made them mad. Um, in general, if you want, like, I know most mod teams are fairly close to receiving pull requests. But if you want to, if you have great ideas, you can, on things you want to work on, you can discuss it with the dev team. You can certainly implement things and make pull requests as well. If you know how to death decently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At a uni, it has a school library. Alchemist and Enchanter. That sounds good for me. Those are all buildings I can imagine fitting decently well into university. Yeah. And I think it makes the style selection more interesting because trade offs change, right? Some styles might have. The lumberjack and sawmill integrated, which allows you more early game access to it, right? And these kinds of things. <sighs> oh, yeah, when you have. Uh, but, but it kind of gets harder to balance that way. <laughs> like balancing building, building styles against each other. Yeah. 
I mean, but it always, the lazy player can always just ch cherry pick the ones together that have the buildings together. But it will not look very nice. And the advantages is mostly space. And yeah, although I think most player won't, won't notice it before they build it. Yeah. Choo -choo -choo. But I think it's uh, in general a nice idea to do for making our characters use, be used earlier. Yes. Like I think it could putting the stone me I, I said it already. The lumberjack with the sawmill. The sawmill and the lumberjack had the stonemason in the miner hut. Those are pretty obvious picks. Yes, those old players naturally kind of get into them because they appear at one level or so. Like, I'd say like level 3 of the lumberjack has a sawmill as well. Also. Yes, I said that exactly. More or less around those lines. It also adds a little bit more of a progression factor. Yeah, and at level 3 you can make the buildings big enough to fit those. While at level 1 you maybe yes. want it to be a bit cheap. Definitely. Two, two, two. Weekends Connor, again. now you're getting the, the birch stairs. Oh, flower I pots, I forgot to the bring them. Smell of timber. And the remaining things you, only need you should be getting from the warehouse, etc. And, and now Carlsoner, Carlinser added to the newest that the demon is literally inside. There's not a sign anymore, but the demon is now a block there. Works too. Um, oh wow, what is happening? Oh, he started at university level 4. He started out requesting a thousand bricks. We raise the roof. Right off the bat. Right off the bat. But maybe we do What's have next? enough. I, I know we had some stocks set up for that purpose. Yes, let me check how much of stock was produced already. Do, 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 do. But yeah, our colony is progressing and we don't have to do that much stuff anymore. Here and there, checking some item. Brick. 163. Yeah, so they, they don't need us anymore and just do everything on their own. 163 only. Which builder is building it? Oh, is this the new one? Yes. Obviously it had to be the farthest away of the three. The yeah, farthest away. And, and less, least experienced builder. Oh, I'm going to the university. No problem. So, at least Fortune is almost ready with the composter. Again. But it seems also the resources calculated. They stopped calculating at a thousand stone bricks. <laughs> you only need a hammer and some stones. And so you're going to get the stone bricks yeah, delivered. Uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it hits the max, max value possible there. <laughs> <laughs> So let me check on Connor. I know Connor is is busy. Connor should be fine. It, it kind of reminds me of my plan for having some really late game buildings for a colony, like a suite or such, like really big buildings to achieve. But we already have like our university kind of you can't really make it much bigger. Yeah, it's like much bigger, much more expensive than university level 5. That it's is unexpected. difficult. But yeah, something like World Wonders would be interesting. Yeah, something like like an Enu when you had to build a cathedral. So it took a lot of resources and space. So we built a World Wonder. And then, if the world wonder keeps staying for 10 real world days, the entire server is going to reset. <laughs> like an Age of Empires. <laughs> like an Age of Empires. <laughs> but 
hat er nun so aus World One das wohl viel besser die VR Bild, dass er hier zu Erde für die Board Lady. <lacht> So. Ähm, die Dam. Um, I mean, our Sandstone University could really be one already. Yeah, that one. From the, from the looks and such, it would kind of fit. Especially the level five one. And and John John is saying that nah, the space wars enchanter. You should see that one. <laughs> I don't know why, but John, he loves the enchanter, and he just goes all in in the enchanter. In the Acacia enchanter, he went all in all the way. Like, how many books and can I fit into this? <laughs> I don't think we even built one. <laughs> We didn't build one yet, at least. Maybe when we got like, oh, now it's getting too easy. I think we should get an enchanter. But first, we need a concrete worker anyway for it. Okay. So, first we need our florist up and running. And then when we got our florist up and running, and a dyer, etc., and the concrete worker, then we can talk about the enchanter. Yeah, I don't think we need an enchanter at all. <laughs> so, oh, it also needs netherrack, and the side can be crafted, and we have a lot of it. But and the side can be crafted. It's a red netherrack, so we need some. But uh, red thingies. But red. Isn't isn't it red nether brick? Yeah, it's nether brick. I meant the red nether brick. Those are difficult to get, and those yeah, we yeah. can't automate from the colony yet itself yet. Now the concrete worker makes both. It makes the powder and the concrete. Like it makes the powder and then it places the concrete in the water and mines it. Um, we are now an hour and a half in the stream. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's stream. Um, tomorrow we're going to have a stream on the Forgecraft server again. So don't forget tuning in tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I think I said it already. Um, thanks everyone for tuning in and engaging in the chat with us. Thanks Sam Letters for being here as well. Um, engaging in the audio with us. Um, I hope you're going to have a nice night. I hope you're going to enjoy in tomorrow as well. Um, see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Have a nice evening. Ciao, ciao.